and comment made by blah blah blah. I don't have problems with your anti-abortion position for the most part, but your method of conveying the argument may be arising unintended reactions. I can see the fact by reading people's comments against the leadership of the church. At the end, your audience will be the ones already unhappy with the church for any other reasons and they'll be looking to validate their position. I wonder if that's your goal. Well, you don't have to wonder anymore. This brings up a topic I'd like to address in this video, which is the importance of comments on my YouTube videos. Since I started making videos on the topic of Adventists and abortion, I have encountered a surprising and disappointing phenomenon over and over again. Not just lay people, but many leaders in the church who have watched my videos will say to me, Andrew, but look at the comments on your videos. They are all complaining about the church or they are angry with the church. When people first said this to me, I was like, what? Did you even watch the video? Did you look up any of the facts or publications? Did you read any of the sources? What about the children being murdered? This is our official church position. And to my surprise, their response, comments on your videos are from people who appear that they don't like the church. Number one, so what? So what? This has nothing to do with anything. Comments on a YouTube video have never at any time in any way, shape, form, or degree influenced the Adventist position on any issue anywhere. But all of a sudden, on the sanctity of human life, the murder of children, the holiness of the Sixth Commandment, all of a sudden, YouTube comments are irrelevant. That is absolutely ridiculous. And number two, of course people who don't like the church will like my videos because, and this comment here is correct right here, your audience will be ones already unhappy with the church for any other reasons looking to validate their position. Of course, it's called bias confirmation. So here's the solution. This is how it's solved. Why don't you do the church a favor, do unborn children a favor, and take a Bible stance and take this away from them? If the Adventist church would stop supporting child murder, then they can't complain anymore. So if people are so overly concerned about comments on videos, then take it away from them and stop supporting murder. It's that simple. I wonder if that is your goal. This is amazing. When I first started making videos, people said, well, what about this and this and what about that and this? So I made videos answering all of these questions and objections and now I have over 130 videos online and more on the way. When I make short videos, people complain because I don't answer every single detail in five minutes. And when I make long videos, people complain, oh, they're too long and they won't watch it. This is what social media is doing to our church. People care more about what some totally random, anonymous person on the internet is saying than what the Bible says or what our church says on a very important topic. And the dead giveaway, the dead giveaway for the hypocrisy is that people respond this way only for abortion. When it comes to the fourth commandment, oh, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. But on the sixth commandment, oh, look, a comment on a video. This is absolutely ridiculous. As I have stated several times already in many videos, I'll state it again. I am a baptized member of the Adventist Church in good standing. I pay a full and consistent tithe to my local church in my local conference. I have personally written over 1,000 physical letters to the church leaders in my conference, in my union, to the division, to other conferences, other unions, to other divisions and of course to the GC. My letters are all documented in my videos and published for anyone to see. They are respectful, fair, and reasonable. I've made phone calls, sent who knows how many emails, and had several face-to-face -face interviews. I've stated this repeatedly and I'll state it again. When I was baptized, I did not know that we Adventists support murdering children. Now that I know, I contacted our leaders and asked for Bible verses and they refused. This is a public position that according to our official constitution speaks for the world church and it must be publicly opposed and denounced so that members like myself who do not support violently murdering children are not misrepresented. I know for a fact that many, many church leaders know full well that we are wrong. They've told me they know this is murder, but they'd rather do, quote, evangelism while standing on the graves of dead children. Now, I'm not convinced by the Bible that this is an effective way of receiving God's spirit or showing God's love to 
of the world. So no, it is not my goal to give the enemy something to complain about. My goal is to shut the enemy's mouth. I'm sick and tired of hearing complaints about the Adventist church because of abortion. So I'm doing the very best that I can to address the issue. People will complain about this church until Jesus returns. But the difference with abortion is that this is a legitimate complaint. We are wrong and when others point to our church and say that we are wrong on abortion, they are correct in saying that. The truth of the matter is that the church has been supporting child murder for over 40 eight years and people are cowards they are scared to say or do anything they have no courage and refuse to confess christ the fact that people are whining about comments on a youtube video just shows that they are desperately scraping the bottom of the barrel looking for any possible reason to justify their complacency and silence the fact that i pay my tithe and that i am a member of the adventist church in good standing makes it impossible for people to ignore me if i were part of some offshoot group or attacking the fundamental beliefs or trying to undermine the church in any way, people would leap all over that as an excuse to dismiss my videos. But they can't find anything because I fully support the Adventist church and fully accept all of the fundamental beliefs just as I did the day I was baptized. Furthermore, as an interesting note, many non-Adventists and ex-Adventists have contacted me and have told me how happy they are to see an Adventist doing this work. There are people both inside and outside our church who are very happy to see this being done. They may not agree with some of our beliefs, but they sincerely want to see our church take a stand for the Sixth Commandment. And I say, praise the Lord. Yes, praise God. We Adventists are wrong on abortion and it needs to be addressed. We have lost and are continuing to lose so much by refusing to confess Christ on the sixth commandment and the faster we put this away the better those who love the church will be doing the most to address this situation so that's it thank you for watching more videos are on the way if you would like to help support this work please see the information down below